my on my on, on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of the DAP and also on the people of Garissa, uh, my sincere condolences to the gallant officers who lost their lives yesterday evening after an IED was placed on the road on which they are traveling. We have been reliably informed that there were 11 officers and all of the officers perished and the vehicle was destroyed beyond recognition. We condemn this act, this heinous act, in the strongest term. It's a cowardly act. It is not acceptable. It is trying to create uh, terror and fear in this country, in the people of this nation, in the government. But our government has stood firm in previous incidents and we shall stand firm. I also want to appeal to all skilled officers not to be discouraged by this incident. You have volunteered your lives just like those who have died. Uh, we know that they have left families, loved ones who are really affected. Terrorist activities normally happen during the rainy season. The main reason is because the terrorists are able to get water and they move freely. Um, they move freely uh, because they have water, access to water. My advice to security officers serving in those parts of the country is to actually minimize moving on vehicles. Because vehicles have become extremely dangerous. Uh, uh, one thing, of course, we have security experts, but I'm sure this has been stated to them. They should do more foot patrols in a localized area instead of using motor vehicles, because these uh, very good uh, 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 utilities have also become deadly because of now the casualties which you can see uh, that has happened following the, the use of IED on that road. It's because IEDs are placed on these roads because the roads are not, uh, are not in good state, the vehicles move slowly, and one way that they can be addressed is actually to improve the roads, particularly the road from Dadaab to Harhar should be made either bitumen standard or an all-weather road with a clearance of at least 50 meters on both sides of the road. This actually, I can, I can assure the government, if this happens, these incidents of IEDs and losing security personnel, government officers and civilians will actually become history if this is done. This incident, we have lost close to 48 officers belonging to the military, GSU, and regular police. And uh, if you look at the record, all of them happen along those roads which are, road, are not good and which these people time uh, using uh, an improvised uh, explosive device which they use with a, a battery. So we would like to appeal to security officers to actually minimize moving on vehicles, specifically this time, so that you can actually uh, save yourself and do proper work in terms of patrolling. Uh, we want to appeal to the government, our government, uh, to open the border. Because the border has been closed over 10 years, but the closure of the border is only in theory. The border is not closed. Goods and people move freely across the border. We are not getting revenue. But what has, it been, what has been the outcome? The outcome has been two things. One, the Al-Shabaab gets revenue from these uh, goods within the territory of Somalia. And when they come to Kenya, the Shabaab also want to scare our security personnel not to, to arrest or to, to get those vehicles. So what they do, when they do these kind of IEDs, it scares the security personnel from patrols on, on vehicles. The second thing that it has done is that it has also created a profession of illicit trade in terms of goods and movement of people. And this is very dangerous to our country. We want to appeal to the government to close, to open the border uh, so that we can close all the Panya rules because we can actually advise the government to enforce a system where any vehicle suspected to have crossed through an illegal point will either be seized and they become property of government or the government will do any other action that is deemed necessary. This will really go a long way also in alleviating the serious poverty available and the serious migration of the locals from the border areas seeking for jobs and business opportunities outside. The, the government, of course, uh, has presence of 
many security officers in that part of the country. We want to appeal to the government in any response to this incident and any other future incident. We want the government to act with restraint, to act with logic, not to hit anybody, everybody. We will ask the public to help our security personnel in tracking these people. We have been victims ourselves as the people of the DAP and the Garissa County in general, Wajia and Mandera, because we have also lost civilians, many civilians. Uh, about a month ago, we had a young man from uh, Liboy who was slaughtered just like a goat and his vehicle was burnt. And there are many other incidents where people have been killed. So we are appealing to the government to act with a lot of restraint so that we don't get uh, actions that will really uh, create uh, dissatisfaction among the civilian population in that part of the country. To, to, we know that our government has been uh, supporting the authorities the authorities in Jubaland. Uh, the regional government of Jubaland has not been very remarkable in doing what it's supposed to do, in trying to make that territory safe. Our forces, because before they became Amisom, were actually went there as KDF to secure and create a buffer zone within Jubaland so that we will be safe from Al Shabaab. Uh, since this uh, support was given to the regime, uh, we have not had any, any profit from that investment. We are appealing to our government to also work with, closely with the Jubaland authorities so that they can help in liberating Shabab from the vast territories in Jubaland, uh, particularly in Middle Juba and Lower Juba, because that is the source of the terrorists. And so that action itself will go a long way in actually addressing the problem of insecurity we have in, in that part of the country. Thank you very much. Terrorism is an ideological, ideological concept. And terrorism cannot be fought only by the use of gun or military might. Indeed, the terrorists are ragtag militia, homo freely. They cannot be confronted by an army or police or GSU. Uh, one thing which we want to inform the government is that the government has provided us with with home guards. We have quite a number in the Dab, in Fafi, and many other parts of this county, and also other counties uh, in this region. And uh, we want to appraise the government. But the problem with the, with the home guards is that they are ill trained and ill equipped, and they are not able to cope up with the work. And there is also a lack of uh, working relationship between the security personnel on the ground and these home guards. In addition, a lot of information is shared by the local communities to the security personnel. We appeal to the intelligence community, the security personnel in those parts, to use that information to avert such incidents because many times the Hadas and the local people report movement of terrorists in that part of the country. I think has been happening, but this was the worst accident ever seen. And uh, I want to also urge the government that the security is under the national government and uh, the people of Liboy, according to my, my observation and working with the government, the people are given information in daily basis of what is taking place within our environment. And that is what now happens. And uh, GSU from Harhar who are traveling to the DAP with their land cruiser, I think the land cruiser plus the uh, uh, officers are no longer there. So uh, I'm very unhappy person today as a leader. And uh, that is something that we'll never forget. And uh, we are ready to cooperate with the government. And I also urge the government and security apparatus to look into those culprits and make sure wherever they are, they should be checked on very well. And the innocent people should not be victimized by any type of accident that has taken place in, in Liboy. Thank you very much.